Hi, my name is Sean Berry, and I work on the Customer Engineering Operations team, specializing in data center automation and cloud lifecycle management. So you've got a working BSA instance, agents deployed, etc. Now it's time to deploy some software. Software packaging and deployment is a common task within automation, and a good opportunity for potentially serious time savings, especially on more complex packages. It can also rapidly increase the rate at which new servers can be built. Most organizations have automated the building of a basic server, but the following on deployment of the different monitoring, backup, and security agents, server hardening, patching, and compliance validation steps can still take days or longer. In other organizations, it can be the work of weeks or longer to roll out or upgrade a particularly thorny software package. The obvious place to start is with basic software deployments. For today's purposes, we're going to work with a simple example package, a compression utility called 7-Zip. Any MSI that has a working sound and install will work here, and most MSIs fit this requirement. First, we'll need a server to deploy this to. You've probably got many servers available, but in this lab environment, I need to add a machine. I've already defined its host name and IP address in the system hosts file, while well, you're probably using DNS in one form or another. I'm now going to add win 8 www as a server. I'll click on OK, and it'll appear in the server smart group when I refresh it. I like to double click on a server when I first add it and browse a couple of object types to make sure everything is happy and working fine. Here's the applications list. Alright, so now we need software. I've taken the liberty of downloading this one and stashing the executables in the C temp folder. Now all I need to do is browse, browse to the depot, go into the workspace folder, right click and select new software object, MSI, and browse to the C temp folder on the local machine, as opposed to on another server, a central file server. That'll come later. Once I select the object, I have the opportunity to customize the install instructions, add any additional options I might need. Since this is a very simple software install, I'm going to leave all this alone and hit OK. All right, so now that I've got my depot object, I need to deploy it. Refresh on the depot folder if necessary, right click and select deploy. This will create a deploy job. Between how the object itself is defined and any customizations made to the job itself, they define together how to get software from the depot to a server. The deploy job is used as a part of a post provisioning batch job and by CLM to build the server a certain way. Every job needs a name and a place to live. While developing new packages and jobs, I will commonly keep these in a workspace folder. Once I'm comfortable they are useful enough to share with others, I'll promote them into shared spaces, like a shared software deployment folder. I usually skip the simulate stage when I'm developing a new software package. It saves a bit of time and I'm usually confident that the new server is up and has available space. I'll usually just select execute job now. I'll also usually increase the logging level from errors and warnings to all information, but only for testing and while I'm making sure it'll deploy cleanly. Once it's ready to go to production, I'll change the logging level back since the all information level generates a lot of information and uses some database space. Once I click OK, the job will start executing. While keeping an eye on the tasks in progress, I'll either log into the machine directly or look at the applications object, which has the same things as the add remove programs control panel. Once I see the application appear in either place or a directory I expected it to create appear, I'll check back in with the job results, make sure it deployed cleanly, test the app a bit, and then hand it off and start working on the next step. Congratulations, you've packaged a simple app and can now work on either upgrading an older agent in your environment or combining it with other apps and configurations to build out a full provisioning stack. Many apps require no more work than this to automate, but we'll look at a couple more complex use cases another time. Thanks for your time, and thanks for using BMC software.